brand new year, new me-ish Haters mad in they feelings Something's in the air Cause they hate on me for no reason Yeah, I'm gonna do exactly what you said I couldn't do And I'm never gonna slow it down just cause you want me Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Um, so today we are gonna be doing our October budget I know I'm like five days late Maybe six by the time you see the video But honey Okay, I'm busy. <laughs> so we're going to get into it. I do want to thank today's sponsor, which is Clever Fox, as you guys can see here. Um, they did send me over their budgeting planner. Well, I picked out the one that I wanted, and I'm super excited. Let's not look at the budget yet. Okay, we're going to set that to the side. Let me have some of my, my drink. All right, let's set that down. All right, we're going to open the package. Um, so it comes with the Clever Fox... Um, budget planner and bill organizer and this is just a little guide to show you how to use it um which i really appreciate um and then i did pick out the why is my, all my stuff upside down i guess i had the box upside down they pick out the clever fox budget planner bill organizer this is the undated monthly budget planner budget planner um it comes with the monthly budget calendar expense trackers debt trackers saving trackers bill trackers pocket for your bills and receipts if you guys are using fetch or anything like that you save your receipts scan those in so it allows you to take control set goals create budgets stay organized track your savings and all the good things okay and i did get it in the hardcover this is an 8 by 9.5 and i did get it in the blue so if you guys can see that um it comes with of course a little uh warranty card right here and no hassle refund i'm gonna i'll have a i'll have a code for you guys in the description box so i'll cover mine up and then it does come with two packs of stickies okay which i love the bill stickers right here i think this is so cute so we're gonna get the box and everything moved out the way and we're gonna get to doing our budget i think the only thing i really wish me while i'm talking I really wish this planner had like a weekly budget or even a bi-weekly budget uh, paycheck breakdown. I feel like that would uh, be amazing. Now, I have not been on the website to even see if they have anything like that. This is just the one that I picked. So, of course, when you open up the planner, you will put all your information here. And uh, just in case anybody finds your planner. So, at the beginning, you'll see the... Let me flip it over. First page is the financial goals there's 10 goals here your mind map so a lot of people do better with the just the grid dots and you can do that my tactics are here my strategy so of course i'll fill this out um, when i have time but yeah here is how it looks these again are undated so i hope i'm in the frame am i in the frame can y'all see that all right so yeah I'm, it's undated and I hope the, I'm doing this by, um, what's the name? Just natural light. So I'm hoping it's, it's okay. It seems a little dark to me, but I don't know. I hope it's okay for you guys. But anywho, let me bring this down just a little more. Oh, I don't want you guys to see. Okay, I think that's okay. So yeah, so you put the month and year here, this month's goals, your checklist, your income, your savings, when the bills are due. Um, and then your actual monthly budget. So today we're gonna go ahead and start with the monthly budget because I'll have to get like the actual due dates and everything. Uh, I am gonna be using my, I love this pen. I have actually got two of these and I think this is the one that's kind of busted. Yeah, it is. Um, I was trying to look for my brand new one, but I love this pen. It's amazing. It's 0 0.5 mm tip, um, but yeah, let me wipe it off. All right, so this is going to be for our October 2024, and as you guys saw, I did write down my actual budget here. So I'm just going to transfer over to paper now, and um, we should be able to, I'm on the couch as well. So if you guys hear me moving around this couch, y'all. So anyway, the way I broke it down is, um, actually, let's start over here. I'd rather put in my income amount. So the way I broke it down is 50% um, of my income is going to be my net income, which is what I take home, is going to be my expenses. So my mortgage, my lot rent, phone, electric, internet, car insurance, gas and groceries, that's 50%.
my emergency fund is 20% and then my debt and spending is 30%. So let's get into it. Let's just start with the, uh, the actual income. So my nursing income, I'll just put nursing because you guys know if you, well, I'm not going to say you know. If you're new here, you don't know. But if you've been here for a minute, you guys know I am an agency nurse. Um, I am a licensed practical nurse. I am in school now for my RN. Um, so with this, this is based on me working 40 hours um, for the month of October. Because I did sign a four-week contract with the facility. So they haven't given me my guaranteed Monday through Friday. Um, 40 hours. All right, so I am um, set to make $5,498 for the month. And I'm just going to put October. Okay, so that is my, I just want you guys to see and start off with the actual income so you guys know where we're, where we're headed. So let's start off with home. So I'm going to put my mortgage in this category. My mortgage is, and this is with the mortgage payment, escrow, taxes, and they rolled in my um, homeowner's insurance. So it's $1,057. That's how much it is. Um, now I do my my um, my home sits on a property that's not mine, so I am renting the actual lot. So I do have to pay lot rent, and starting October first, the lot rent actually went up to uh, six hundred and nine dollars. It was like five eighty three or something. I don't know. All I know is I'm just looking forward to paying this house off and moving it on to my own land versus you know yeah <laughs> so home we'll come back to this because honestly like that's the only thing i have to worry about for the house um i am gonna put down i probably have to get the grass cut i got it cut like a week ago so i probably will have to get it cut again in october at least once and the guy he lives in the neighborhood he just charges like 35 dollars or whatever so we'll just put grass All right, uh, we're gonna be moving on to, um, I guess personal, we'll be under personal. Uh, we'll be our, oh, you know what, I'm, I'm lying. We have our electric, of course, that's part of the home too. Like, why didn't y'all say nothing, hello? 154 electric, internet. Oh, I'm tripping. Like, girl, how did you think that was all, what, what, that was included for the house? My internet is 90. I have spectrum, which is trash. Um, okay, now that's all in, that's included for the house. For food, we have groceries. Our uh, budgeted four hundred dollars. Eating out, I'm gonna give myself. I'm really trying not to eat out for the month of October. I'll give myself a hundred dollars for the whole month. Um, now. It is Josiah's birthday this month, so we will be going out for his birthday. Um, so I'll just add that on here. He's actually turning 13. So his birthday dinner, I don't know, we'll say about $100. It's usually about $60, maybe $60, maybe $70 if we're pushing it. Um, he normally goes to, uh, what is that place called? Y'all, Texas Roll House. But I told him this year he better pick something else. He's been going to Texas Roll House every year, like, Please, please pick something else. Um, all right, healthcare. I don't pay for any any healthcare. Loans, we'll get back to that. Um, personal. Would phone bill be under personal? I guess. Would it? I don't know. Phone. It's one eighty. Uh, transportation. I do not have a car payment. I actually paid off my car in March of this year. Um, so insurance. And I'm, I actually switched my insurance over to Allstate. Um, $90. Oops, I'm sorry. $92. I can't even change it. Just know it's $92 because 
I don't even want to mess with this 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 thing right here. Um, and then gas. Y'all, when I tell y'all I do so much freaking driving, it makes no sense. Spence. It makes no sense. I probably spend a hundred, uh, probably over a hundred dollars a week on gas. So, <sighs> y'all, it's a lot. All right. So that is my 50% of my expenses um, or, or my income that's going to my actual expenses, the stuff that I actually need. All right. So we're going to move on to... Now, how did I do that? Uh, my emergency fund. I'm going to put away $1,000. And then, so when we, we're going to go back to loans. It's going to be my debt portion of it. Um, so I have fifteen twenty left. So I need to pay off my capital loan. I think it's like a balance of 400 and something dollars on there. I'll, I'm pretty sure it's like 450. So we'll put 450. That's the balance. My Indigo credit card. 400. And then other, well, I guess entertainment. I guess I could put Josiah's birthday under, and I will put it under other. So I still have, have to actually get him gifts um for his birthday so that yeah we're gonna put it under other because yeah and i actually did sign up for what is that peacock is that how you spell it i don't know anyway it was 7.99 um but we're gonna put josiah gifts and his gifts come out to let me see Around three fifty for his gifts. Oops, sorry y'all. All right, so I think I filled in all the categories for the month. Um, so let me add everything up, and we'll put our total budget here. I'll try to come back at the end of the month and actually put the actual and the difference, and see how we we made out at the end of the month. But I do want to go ahead and get the dates and we'll fill in this card as well. Um, so savings, I do want to put my emergency fund. All right, you guys, so I did go ahead and put the, the dates on here. And I have the due date, so we're going to go ahead and get that put on paper. Um, and then I also have, I realized that they have some actual payday stickers right here. So I'm going to use those. So we're going to go ahead and put the paydays in first. So I get paid every week. Um, so yeah, we're going to actually get paid on Thursdays. Now, if I do pick up a shift at the hospital, I get paid Wednesdays. And I know this week I'll get, this week coming up here, I worked one shift at the hospital. So I'll get paid Wednesday and Thursday that week. So I'm gonna put two stickers there. And I'm gonna go ahead and just speed this up for you guys. All right. All right. So we have all our paydays um, here. So I'm going to go ahead and put down the The bill due dates so of course um starting on october 1st we have our lot rent which is due um and i know i wrote it on the other page but still i can see it here as well um and then let's see 
we have on the second, we have capital one. And for that one, we just did the minimum, which will be paying at the end of the month. I'll pay off the actual balance, but we'll do the $40 here. Um, on the third, we have the internet, which is spectrum. This is 90. On the seventh, we have indigo, which is my other credit card. And that one is much lower, 400. Okay, and then on the 15th, we have our mortgage. Yeah, I can't wait. It's a little space. And car insurance. Um, and then on the 17th is just Paez. Birthday. On um, the 22nd is our Dominion Energy, which is our electric bill. Y'all cannot write in these little spaces. Oh my gosh. Um, and then on the 27th is the T-Mobile. Phone bill is 180. Pretty sure I got everything that needs to be. So those are the bills. That's how it looks on here. Um, and then uh, off camera, I'll write out my goals and everything. Now, I did go ahead and add up everything over here. Do you guys see that? Yeah, you guys can see it. So the total was $5,418.99. Now, I do want to have a zero-based budget. So I'm scheduled to make $5,498. Um, so let's just round this up to $54.19. So what is that? What's the difference? The difference, I'm actually going to use it for Ezra's birthday. I have to order her birth. Her birthday is November 2nd. So I have to order her birthday decorations off Amazon. She's doing um, Coco Melon this year. And those are like $40 or something, plus all the plates and cakes. And y'all know how I did it last year. So you guys will be seeing her second birthday as well. Um, so all that stuff will be ordered. So I'm thinking I'll use the, remaining of the, the remainder of the budget for that. So we should come out to a zero-based budget. And, um, yeah, like I said, I'll come back to you guys probably on the 31st. My sister will actually be here. Dion will be here from New York. So I'm super excited. But, yeah, I'll probably come back. I'll have a video filmed for you guys on the 31st and show you guys what we did, what our, what our actual budget was. I just wrote down. I just started writing in the numbers that I already paid, the electric bill. This is already paid. And then, of course, the lot rent, I have to do that. Um, today's the 5th. That i'm filming this video is actually due today i need to go online and do that so that would be paid as well but i don't want to write it down until it's done um groceries i'm spending some money on that budget so yeah i'll come back to you guys at the end of the month and we'll see how this actually turns out stick to the budget stick to the budget stick to the budget but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed the video you guys got a glimpse into the, in the income that i make as an lpn i cannot wait to graduate and have my rn income but until then honey i'll see you guys in the next one bye